Hello and welcome back ladies and gents. This is of course your favorite airdrop expert Light here and today we are going to be diving into Polygon ZK EVM which in case you didn't know is separate from Polygon. This is a different blockchain and Polygon uses Matic to pay the gas fees while in ZK EVM you are paying Ethereum for the gas fees and I think last time I checked ZK EVM does have a higher gas fees because of this compared to Polygon, which is kind of one of the main reasons why exactly I'm not so super bullish on the ZK EVM as a whole because it kind of fights against their core concept. And this kind of goes into also why I'm not super bullish either on this actual airdrop, but it's still worth covering. So there was a news back in March by the CEO of Polygon and basically he said there to quote, if there's one thing you can doubt on Polygon, it would be adoption. Don't worry on it. It will first rain, then it will pour. And plus, there's no rule that an existing token can do a massive airdrop. So the question here is twofold. Number one, are they going to be dropping Matic to the people in ZK EVM or is there going to be a separate form of a token happening a governance token or maybe a dual gas token i think it's maybe too late for having a dual gas token but that model would actually be pretty good so that's kind of one of the problems here is that how much of a supply of polygon actually is in store in the polygon foundation or whatever how much possibly they could airdrop into the polygon zk vvm users so that's a one kind of like a red signal here out of the bat if they're going to be dropping Matic instead of like a whole new token. So that's kind of like you should have you shouldn't have very high expectations of getting like a multi thousand dollar airdrop. It's going to be more like the Aptos airdrop, like a couple of hundred bucks basically for everybody, if anything. And let's kind of also look into a bit of the statistics. But the thing is about this chain, it's not super competitive. So I think back in um, here in March, we kind of got the uh, announcement regarding this whole thing. And then it started to kind of like, you know, steamroll from there. And in July, we had this sort of a growth spurt back into half a million users as of uh, January 16th. That that's actually not that many users. I think in other chains, we have millions, literally millions. So half a million is not that many. And how many of those half a million even have above one transaction? Maybe already 25% are counted out. So this is not exactly like super competitive chain in terms of airdrop farming, which is another good reason to basically cover this uh, thing out. Also, the gas fees are relatively low. Uh, there is a fair amount of token contracts already deployed. I recommend uh, deploying, you know, contract to Atlas or something like that. I'm going to make sure I'm going to link that down below, by the way. But um, fundamentally, I would say it's not super competitive, but kind of like with Polygon, I think these chains are kind of dead. There's not really that many proprietary native dApps on either of these two chains. I mean, Polygon has built it up obviously over the years, but like ZK EVM has like maybe three dApps that are native to it. And so there's not really many to cover here. I recommend using the Wenser um, calculator here when it comes to counting out the activity on the chain. So what I have here is a volume of $667. I obviously want that volume to be over $1,000 and the bridge sum should at least be 0 0.1 ETH, which is the minimum that I've done. Obviously I have bridged through other layer two bridges, which is not counting here, by the way. So um, at least like $100 above you want to deposit and $1,000 of volume. And obviously, you want to have a healthy amount of like transactions, even though I don't have that many uh, transactions, I'm going to be trying to get into 100. I still have 57 unique contracts here, which is actually sorry, 23 unique contracts here. So that's a pretty good sum. Every third transaction that I've done has been on a new contract. So that's contract diversity is important, not just like swapping on one dex all over and over again. So that's important. And then there's these other, other metrics like transaction volume, transactions over distinctive months. I've done six months already. When is this drop going to be happening? I would probably guess in summer 
It's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I mean, the main it has been around for quite some time since of last year. So um, th that's that's a thing. Okay, so um, that needs to be accounted for. Now, the very first thing here, as I already alluded, is to bridge through the Polygon portal. You can bridge through Polygon own thing to Polygon ZK EBM, or you can do it through Ethereum mainnet. There are a couple of different tokens here available. Um, don't bridge your Matic there. I'm going to explain that in a, in a, in a few, but that, that's something, you know, over $100 of volume. Might just do a couple of transactions if you want to really like flush trade it back and forth. That's also possible. There might be some delays on these bridges. These are not the fastest things because these are the native, the most secure ways to transfer. I haven't done the Polygon to ZK EVM test here, so I don't know how fast it is. Um, let's actually do it just for the testing. Gonna do, this is gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be maybe giving us um, like a low value. Okay, it's not even giving us a root, so that's kind of bad. Maybe we can bridge in uh, wrapped Ethereum instead. And Okay, that's that's kind of interesting, honestly. Um, maybe it's glitching out right now, but whatever. There are obviously third-party bridges. The one that I probably recommend using is Orbiter Finance. Obviously, there has been, and then there's obviously Socket, and there's like some other ones in the list. Let, let's look at those very briefly. We have Jumper, that's a good one, and Maison. These both don't have tokens yet. Don't do Star Trade across because they have tokens. Another one would be Squid, and that's pretty much it. All the other ones have basically their own token. I don't know what this Umbria is. And all two is another one that you could do. So those are much more faster ones to do. Orbiter has a point system, so they have already announced the near drop. Like you have options like Bungie, for example, but Bungie got hacked recently. So it's kind of like a messy to fuck around with socket. And the thing is, yeah, like are 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 they gonna be? Are, is Bungie gonna be releasing a token? We don't know, but at least Orbiter is going to be releasing a token eventually, and these points are gonna be accumulating into it. So I can choose pretty much from any of these layer two chains. There's multitude of different ones, and I'm just gonna be bridging Ethereum into Polygon zk EVM. I'm gonna be hitting it send, confirm and send, and then confirm. And this should take like five minutes top to basically do this transaction over here. And this will give me points on Orbiter and also will increase my total volume transferred into Polygon ZK EVM. But that's not going to be, the layer two bridges are not showing throughout the Windsor um, thing. So probably I'll really have to transfer a lot more than this. Then we have um, a lending protocol known as Kiom. I think it was called Zero. XIV or something crazy like that before and this is on a couple of different chains here and They have a token announced, but that token has not been released yet And here I have already supplied a bit of ethereum I think over $50 is a good one But don't forget your monies into these protocols because sometimes they may get drained out completely Not necessarily by a hack by just like loans and people gaming the system this has happened to me actually more than I would have wanted to. So um, once the airdrop has been announced, uh, I would just definitely start draining the, all the things out, the fuck out of this thing because the APY of 0.15% is literally nothing. So um, that's not something I want to like, you know, keep my money here on. But I'm just keeping it here to kind of have the criteria being met. Now quick swap, quick swap is a pretty much a native Polygon ZK EVM uh based i didn't know that they are actually on doge chain we maybe should need to talk about that in the future and here we obviously want to do transactions we talked about the thousand dollar volume mark and obviously that doesn't need to be in one transaction it's not recommended to have that on a thousand transactions uh, one transaction sorry and some people have been asking about like if i'm sending wrapped ethereum into ethereum is this going to be counting as a form of a volume and i think far as i'm concerned yes it is and after i have wrapped this out i'm going to be buying out stable coins and we're going to be providing those into the liquidity pool because liquidity is one of these main criteria when it comes to being eligible for well all the important stuff. So we probably want USDT here, and because USDT is, well, 
it's popular and for 0 0.02 for example so i'm gonna put 50 bucks or 50 50 of the each stable coin so the reason why i'm doing usdt to usdc is because there's no impermanent loss um as you can see there's a pretty high fees here already like doing these transactions you would never pay two dollars in, in matic but sometimes gas fees being spent on the chain might be a criteria that is being counted for. And don't worry, later down this video, you're going to be having some cheap options as well, which are not going to be costing you any, much, any money whatsoever. And then we're going to be doing another uh, trade on what was 0 0.02 in USDC. And we're going to be doing this swap. And then we're going to be throwing them in the liquidity pool. Is there currently any farms open? If you scroll around, there might be some in some other obscure place. But once again, I don't really recommend it usually because you never know the risks, you know, with these new protocols and everything. So you've got to be careful about that. And we're going to be putting the max amount here on both. Let's put manual here and max. Let's put 49 and 49. Okay, we need to approve these. So these are good that we're approving two different tokens, gives us some transactions over the chain. So we're gonna be first approving USDC and then we're gonna be doing USDT, confirming them. And then we're gonna be batching them into the pool. And meanwhile, as this is going, let's actually quickly look if there are any farms for this. Usually these have uh, farms. Here we have, okay, so we're getting 2,000 quick daily, 19% APR. I'm going to be farming that. That's going to be a good farm to do. And so let's do USDC and USDT. And maybe this time it's going to be, this is annoying. It's keeping loading it. But let's wait for a second. So liquidity usually is like a good way to be eligible but it's not always a criteria guys and which exchanges are being counted is it like every obscure dex in the in the place how are these being like recorded is anybody's guess okay but i'm gonna like you know not do this farming part right now because it's gonna be i have to hustle around with this thing and this is clearly uh, lagging a bit so let's move into our next thing we have zonic which is not exactly native to Polygon ZK EVM, but like, hey, it's at least available there. And it's actually has like very many different tokens here um, being supported, but this is not like the most impressive site here. I think we featured this on some other video and you can sell some trash here, buy some really, really cheap tokens, I guess. And that's gonna be like the criteria. So we got some weird cloud thing going on in here. So this floor price is pretty much like, what is that? $2? It's $1. Okay. I'm going to do a, like a one transaction here. And then after I bought it, I am going to be listing it if this is actually working. Okay. It doesn't even want to work. So fuck Sonic. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this website. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. It just was lagging a bit. The RPC was lagging. I'm going to cancel that one. And now it's being bought. And then we're going to go back to our inventory here and it should be coming up like here, maybe. Oh yeah, I have this Bart fan club thing and let me sell this and I'm just going to use the floor. Maybe I'm going to be taking a bit of a return here. So I'm just going to take a couple of these things and that's going to be like how I'm going to be rolling with this one. And Zonic might be doing their airdrop. It's always really important when you do these farm things on all these new chains. You want to like double farm in the sense that you might be eligible for multiple different things, not just the main token, guys. Because if you're going to be just farming on QuickSwap, you're not going to be getting like a new token because they already have launched their one. If you want to do perpetuals, futures, whatever you want to call them, you have Satori. Satori has raised $10 million. So that's actually pretty good. Obviously, there's been a fair amount of these, you know, derivatives coming out on every chain. Like, as like five almost every week, I'm like getting, and all of them kind of survive. So some of them are definitely going to die. There's not way. There's no way that all of them have the same liquidity unless they're using some protocol underneath. But this one is also multi-chain, pretty easy to use. There's no referral link with this one, but. Hey, uh, and I think there's a minimum of $10 deposit or something like that, but it's it's an okay option and it is on this chain. The uh, closing and the endings of the um, positions and your limit orders will not be on chain. You're gonna be only just signing those messages basically. So everything is happening inside this, you know, DEX that you basically deposit your funds to, FYI. 
Then we have Polygon name service. You can get, let's see how cheap are the lowest ones, 0 0.03 which is basically $1 for a domain name. So it's not really bad, not really bad. Let's let's go with that. But I've seen cheaper ones. Well, actually, have I? I don't think I actually have. So there we go, $1. And these guys, by the way, uh, this is like a, you know, you want to set this as primary address as well after you've bought it. And they did already an airdrop on their scroll network. It wasn't really worth that much, guys, but Hey, it was free money. Maybe Justin just like paid everything back. So this is an SSR up, but I've already covered it on the famous um, Google spreadsheet. Then there were these intra quests and in hindsight, I should have covered this chain when these were going because these are official quests and you might have done them, but maybe you forgot to claim um, the rewards. And I wasn't really active. I was like really like fucking not bothering to do with these. But these might be a criteria likely on this quest. And well, they, they would have been very easy to do. And like in hindsight, it, it kind of sucks. But you know, there was so much things going on back then. So in two, three months ago, it was a very busy time, holidays and everything. So these are obviously over. But in case you forgot to claim these, go claim them. Okay. Then we have... Polygon staking. So this is part of the speculation that will the stakers of Polygon get an actual airdrop? I don't think there's, this doesn't say like how much of Polygon is being staked here, does it? So how much is that? Is That is 2 billion being staked, but what is the actual coin market cap? I have to confirm this actually. Polygon's market cap is, oh, that's the volume, 7 billion. So it, not even half is being staked right now. And that is because the staking happens on Polygon mainnet. Uh, sorry, on Ethereum mainnet. It's not even happening on Polygon. And you want to probably choose somebody with 0% or 5%. I wasn't able to find any specific validator here, which could be do issuing an airdrop down the line. Nothing really struck my, struck my eye on that. So I guess choose anything, not maybe a one that has like a really, really low uh, uptime. So these ones have like 95%. Don't choose these guys because that's bad. So you might not get all, all the time rewards. This is obviously going to be gas intensive, especially during the bull market. So you got to think twice about staking and about minimum stake, I would say over hundred dollars because it doesn't make a lot of sense to me at least to reward all the people who are staking even though the percentage is not that high but over hundred dollars worth of stake is probably what i would go for this is very speculative on my part but i would argue that this could be a potential criteria but it has never been in any other project basically like in like solana for example stakers never get anything so um it's, it's up in the air, will they do that? Then there's this thing that's kind of like f flying under the radar called Polygon ID. This is an app that you download on your phone and you can basically connect it with like these KYC platforms, for example. So let me show a couple of these, what they have on here on the list. Credential providers. So I, for example, did civic tasks because I think in future we're going to be seeing a lot more of these pseudo KYC requirements being added on to be eligible because they want to really struggle against the cyber shit. So civic allows you to do these credentials like capture verification and face verification. And then you can get this certification, which you scan with the QR code from the Polygon ID app. And then it's basically part of your credentials. And there are a couple of ones here, like Fractal, for example, Click, Anonymous, that's actually on the list. We're going to be covering that in a second. And some others, which I'm not very familiar with, but these are going to be playing more attention, paying more, uh, you know, a play in the future. So you might want to get a couple of these credentials here because I think the Polygon ID is going to be a criteria. I actually, I'm very much betting on that will be one of the criterias probably. So I would do that. And then Polygon also has a guild page. So just normal stuff like joining the Discord. And you also get credentials uh, for Polygon ID by doing this stuff over here. So do many as you can, many as you're willing to do. And yeah, also stay on their Discord. Then there is Click, which we just talked about. This also has 
certain quest is a credential platform, which is part of the linear thing. And that, by the way, closed out today. So now it's too late to do these for linear, but I'm 100% sure other chains are going to be using these criteria. And there's sometimes a bit of problems here. Like I was not able to get my Steam linked here and it's not willing to verify me. So there's some autism going on with this site, but you know, what the hell, I, I did my best. And then the last very criteria is Nomis. And this basically gives you these on-chain reputation things. And you can get a score for every single chain. You have layer zero here and, and we have Polygon ZK EVM, we have Linea, and basically it's just like you're paying the minting fee, which is, well, something, something. Let's see how much actually gonna be costing us to do this. And then you can also connect your Polygon ID to this and you can mint referrals as well. My score is 45. It's not super good. I kind of want to have over 50 and total spending is of $169. So not very much either there. And this gives you actually some good, good stats about like what is what is going on here. So one of the good things at least is eight months old. And then we're going to be minting score. It's $10. People who are a bit more poorer probably can't afford this, but um, and damn, those fucking fees, like, what are you telling me? Three dollars? Holy shit. And after this has been, you know, minted, that's basically it. This is one of those social criterias, which is probably going to be mattering a bit more on in the layer zero shops also as well. So, but th this video is already long enough. So we're not going to be uh, making this any longer. Hopefully you had some insight into this ZK EVM drop. And obviously stay tuned for more airdrop guides in the upcoming days. And we're probably going to be having up polls also for the next one very soon. And uh, once again, I don't know the time sensitivity of this, but I wouldn't necessarily focus on ZK EVM right now while I would do probably ZK Sync and Layer Zero and Wormfall first. But if you already farmed a lot on there, then go ahead and do some Polygon ZK EVM things as well. But it's really the, the, the value of this airdrop, I want to just say what I just said in the beginning, is if this is going to be paid in Polygon, do not expect to make a lot of money from this drop. Just saying, guys. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.